Hello my YouTube friends! You guys know that I absolutely love live streaming. I have a nice cushy studio in my house to stream and film from and it can get pretty stale sometimes. So what if I wanted to put on a live stream with pretty similar features that I have in the studio? From here, or maybe inside a place like this, or maybe just a beautiful location like this. And you can do all that with this tool right here. And I'm gonna show you how it works today. It's really awesome. So you know what? Let's get to it. Likes and comments are super easy things that you can do to help push this video to a wider audience. So take a second down below and let me know how I'm doing and while you're there, if you're not subscribed, please do. It really does help me continue to make content that helps you. So thanks. The tool I'm gonna show you today is called Yolo Box Pro and in full disclosure, I asked them to send me one and they did. See, I heard a lot of great things about it and I thought it would be something my audience would wanna see. There are links in the description so you can check it out for yourself and they are running some absolutely incredible deals right now as we speak. So the time is right for sure. Now this unit is a game changer for anyone who wants to do church streams, live sports, or just about anything else that takes you out of a studio environment. So let's take a look. Here is the box that it comes in. It's a very nice box. We're gonna just slide the cover off of this box. The first thing we're gonna see is a Yolo Box Pro quick start instruction manual. And this tells you what all the ports and everything that you're gonna find on your Yolo Box do. I'll just pop that in there. And this is a really nice screen protector that they give you for your Yolo Box Pro. And we can just pull the unit out by pulling on this little felt tab. And that screen looks awesome. We have all kinds of ports on the bottom and on the top. It's a really, really rugged case. Then we're gonna go ahead and pull this up. And we have our USB-C to USB-C and our USB to USB-C, which are different cables that you can use to plug in cameras and charge the YOLO box. And the cables are very heavy duty and sturdy as well. This is for adding the SIM to our YOLO box if we want to use our cell phone SIM. And this tool here will tighten up the mount that you're going to use to put it on your tripod or whatever. And this of course will attach the YOLO box to your tripod so you can just screw this into the bottom of your YOLO box like this and you're all set and ready to go. This is what it looks like outside the box and it has so many cool features. So let's start on the top. You've got a memory card here that you can add scenes or overlays or whatever images that you want to use on your live stream. You can load them to the memory card and add them right in here. This slot right here is a slot that you can add your cell phone SIM to this so that you can connect this wirelessly through your cell phone to the network and broadcast directly from that, which is really cool. And of course you've got the power button and you have something so you can mount this to the tripod right here. On the bottom, we have all kinds of awesome ports. So we have three HDMI ports right here for you to input cameras or whatever you want. You have a USB port right here that you can input webcams, that sort of thing works really well. Then you have an ethernet port so you can connect directly to the network if you have access to it. This is an HDMI out so you can go out to an external monitor if it's bigger and you wanna be able to see it. Then you've got a USB-C input which of course can use webcams and all kinds of other really awesome stuff. You got your headphones, you got your mic in and your line in. And then at the very top, you have a charge port so you can charge this thing up. So now that you've seen what it looks like, let me show you what you can do with it. So when you first get your YOLO box and you have not signed in, this is what you're going to get. We're just going to explore monitor mode real quick because that gives you a pretty good idea of everything that you can use. Once we're in here, we're gonna see all of the assets that have already been plugged in. In this case, I have two cameras. One is a USB, one is an HDMI, and I have a connection from my computer showing my computer screen on there as well. We can select any one of these and we can hit this little arrow thingy in the corner so that it maximizes or minimizes it. And it's really simple to use. And all you have to do is tap on the screen to select any of these cameras or whatever you wanna do. Now we can go ahead and add some video sources. But you can see when you select certain things, it's going to say that your audio is not ready or something like that. Because you cannot get audio from a USB source. And we'll correct that in a minute. 
but we're gonna go and we're gonna touch add a video source and we're gonna go ahead and select picture in picture video and then you just select the first video that you want to use and click next and then you select the second video you want to use and click next and it brings up this nifty screen you can scale the picture in picture you can move it around with your finger just holding it and moving it you can change the border thickness and the border color we're going to go back and we're going to switch it up we're going to make the hdmi one first and this one second and there we go we'll scale it down a little bit and we'll go ahead and click on our border thickness and you can see what that does and if we click on border color, we can change it, click OK. There we go, now it has a black border. And this is what it does when you swap video. It'll swap one video from the front to the back, and then you can just click Done. And now this is saved, so it's in there. So we're gonna do another picture-in-picture -picture video, and you just do the same thing. We're gonna select one, click Next, select the next, click Next. We can reshape, resize, move this stuff all around, make it however we want change our border to black and then click finish when we're done and now we have both of those in here you can see picture in picture video 2 and picture in picture video 1 all you have to do is tap on those to select them very simple and we're still getting that audio mix so let's go ahead and fix that we're gonna go over here to our audio tab right here and we're gonna click on HDMI off and then on again and that'll change that to our main mode of audio now each of these inputs can have their own setup audio, so it makes it really easy to modify and adjust the volumes on all of these. Now let's add some more video sources so I can kind of show you what all of them look like. Next we're gonna take a look at the side by side, and it's the same thing. You just select your first camera or video or screen, and you select the second one, and you just click next, and it comes up to this. You can add a background if you like. You can slide these around, smush them together, and uh, basically set them up any way you like. You can change the border thickness and the border color, and you can swap video, which will swap them back and forth when you click done. It's gonna go ahead and add them into your collection. Let's go ahead and add another one, and it's the same thing. You select your first one, you select your second one, and this one here shows that you have kind of a smaller one side than the other. We can swap the sources as well. We can change border thickness. And there we go, so that adds that to our layout as well. Let's go ahead and add another one. We'll try one of these split views, and same thing, add one, add another video source, and you can change the separator position. I think it's pretty cool you can change the separator direction on this as well. Of course, you can swap video. You can recenter it by clicking on center. And when you click done, it adds it once again to your collection. These are all different scenes. All you have to do is touch them to move to any one of them during your live stream. You can also add a local video by clicking Add Video Sources and then just select Local Video 1 or 2. And then all you have to do is scroll through the videos that you have on the SIM card that you already have loaded in. Select that video and now the video is added. In order to play it, all you have to do is select the scene that the video is on. And there you go, that video is going to play like it's a regular scene. Now let me show you how to add overlays and that sort of thing. Over here on the right panel where it says overlays, we're just gonna click on the little plus. And you can see we have image overlays, lower thirds, countdown timers, web URL overlays, titles, and social overlays. So we're just gonna select image overlays first. And anything that's on your SD card, you can load in here. So I have a bunch of stuff. Some of them are just images. So we'll just select an image. We'll use this brick one right here and click done and then you can scale your image and auto hide it if you like once you have the scale right you can just click done and then it's over here in the right hand panel all we have to do is touch it and it will go right over top like an overlay is supposed to let's check out the countdown timer one and there are two in here that you can select you just select the one that you want you can set these up with colors and how much time and the whole nine yards anything you want to set in here and then when you have it in your scene you can just touch it and it will start the countdown timer we can take a look at the web URL overlays you can see that you can choose from the yellow cast or you can customize these this is a really cool feature I'm not gonna really cover it here but if you want me to make a video on it go ahead and leave me a comment below and I will explore this feature a little further 
Next, you can see our lower thirds. We can select any of them and we can modify these any way that we want. The colors, the text, the title, the font, all of these things can be completely customized to whatever you want them to look like. And once it's set up, you see there it is on the top right of my screen. But we can just hold our finger down on any of these and it brings up a little menu. So we can click this little pencil and we can go back and edit it some more. We can adjust the location on the screen just by touching it and dragging it. We can select different colors for different things. Pretty much make it look exactly how we want it to look. And if we look at the social overlays, this is what you get. So you can add your social media information in there and you're able to put it on any screen that you want. Here is what my normal overlay looks like when we just go ahead and load it in and select it. We can scale it, do whatever we want, and there you go. You can see that you can have a very traditional overlay right on your live stream. You just kind of have to set it up so that it's specific for Yolo Box and you're gonna be good to go. You can hold your finger down to bring up the menus for any one of these and then just click the trash to delete them as well. Next, let's take a look at the scoreboard feature down here in the bottom right, this one colon one. You can bring up a scoreboard display and this is awesome if you're gonna be maybe broadcasting live sports or anything like that. You can put your team names in there. You can adjust the size. You can adjust the time. All kinds of different things. Colors, fonts. You can even load in team logos and things like that. This is an incredibly powerful scoreboard tool that's built right in. I absolutely love it. The next thing over here, if we go to the right, we can select this little camera icon here, and this allows you to auto switch cameras. So if we go into video sources, we can select which sources we wanna auto switch, and then it comes over here to this screen. We can select the amount of time we want it to spend on each of the sources, and when we click start auto switch, it's just going to count down and rotate switching from each one of these cameras. <laughs> and that's, that's just incredibly awesome. Next, we're going to select the little gear button here all the way on the right. And this has all kinds of different options that you can use. I think the most interesting one is the video source transitions. We can go in here and we can set up all kinds of different transitions from one scene to another. We'll try some of these. You've got window slice, simple zoom. You can change the duration of the transitions to make them as quick or as slow as you want. It's an awesome feature that's built right in and it has some really, really cool transitions. There's storage settings, replay settings, record limits. There's all kinds of things you can do in here. If we go back out to the main screen, we can touch this little people icon up here in the top right. It will bring up some cool menus. It allows us to connect to Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, or an RTMP. You have to really sign in before you can use any of that stuff, but this also allows you to set up a lot of your settings and upgrade the system. There's diagnostic logs, recordings, and this is the location where you're gonna find all of that sort of stuff. It also has a rotate screen, so you can make the screen upside down or right side up, which is useful if you're using it on a tripod or something like that. But we're gonna go ahead and go back and we'll just sign in so we can show you what this looks like. Once you're signed in, you're gonna come up to this and there's just gonna be a plus right down in the bottom right hand corner. If you click that plus, it gives you the create a live stream or monitor mode. We've already explored monitor mode, which allows you to set up lots of scenes and do different things. So we're gonna go ahead and click create a live stream. You can put all your live stream information right in here if you like and once you're done that's what it's going to look like we'll just click on that and it opens it up right here you have the platforms that you're set up to stream to in my case uh, i can link my youtube my facebook my twitch or my custom rtmp right now i'm just set up to stream to yolo cast but obviously you can multi-stream on this as well once you're in the live streaming mode, you actually do have access to a couple of things you don't have access to in monitor mode. One of those things would be this icon right here that allows you to add guests. So we can go and invite guests and you can see you can have up to four guests that connect to your live stream. You're going to be able to add them as scenes just like adding video sources like we did before. You can mute guests and allow participants to join. And if we scroll to the right down here, there is another menu right here, this three dot one, and it will be 
your chat. So any of the chats that happen during your live stream, you're going to be able to go in here and see those chats so that you can communicate and see what your audience is saying. So those are the two features that are exclusive to the live streaming mode. And to be honest, there is so much that I didn't cover in this video because it can only be so long. But if you want to learn more about any specific feature or just more in general on the Yellow Box Pro, I would be more than happy to explore this more, especially if you have specific questions about what it's capable of doing. Because man, it's capable of doing a whole lot. This thing is absolutely incredible. I'm excited to try out some out of the box streams with my membership folks when I take trips. The beauty is they're always updating this thing and adding new features. Things like adding guests and the camera switcher are things that didn't actually ship initially with the YOLO box, but they were added later and it seems like every month they're adding something else. And personally, I can't wait to see what they add in the future. If you want to see some cell phone streaming options, you should check this video out. Big thanks to Yellowbox for sending out this unit. I do really appreciate it. You can find their links and links to all the other sponsors that support the channel down below in the description under the heading sponsors. I couldn't possibly do this without them or you. So thanks. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next 